Melissa, see you back here in just a bit. Hours later, that spring storm is still packing a punch for some tonight. Hetty Chang, as you can see on your screen now, she joins us live with a look at the weather and the rescue that caught, well, a lot of attention today. Hetty? Indeed, Chuck, but first we're here in the city of Orange where it's pretty much been raining on and off all throughout the evening. To the east of us, some residents are still under that voluntary evacuation order because of the rain, but yes, it was that rescue to the north in Los Angeles that proved just how dangerous a storm can be. A Southern California soaker blanketing the freeways and the roadways with much needed rain. Feared too much rain, though, for the burn scar area in the Silverado Canyons under a voluntary evacuation order. It was too much water for some streets in the San Gabriel Valley, where firefighters had to rescue stranded drivers. There we go. But the rescue that had many of us glued to the TV, that of two humans and this canine in Studio City. Someone's ran into the water on their own and is trying to grab the dog. Oh, wow. That someone is a good Samaritan who risked it all, getting into the rushing L.A. River this afternoon and trying to get at the dog. That's a very dangerous move by this person. A German Shepherd mix who was washed away after Swiftwater rescue teams were able to save his owner, a woman from the river. But now that good Samaritan, a 28-year-old man, also needed rescuing. And they're going to try and collar this dog, and there they go. There they go. It looks like they have the dog in a collar. In the end, all three were safely secured. A lot of people love their animals, and we do too, but if you do something that's going to cause yourself danger, fire department's going to go for the people first. Animal second, it's just human safety first. And that dog was expected to be reunited with his owner after he was checked out at the vet's office. So certainly good news there. But yeah, a really powerful reminder that even six inches of water can sweep anyone off their feet. We're live in Orange tonight. Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.